Welcome to another video. In this video, we'll show you how to view your files from Salesforce in Titan Web using the File Viewer. So let's go and set up our File Viewer project. And I'm going to show you how to do it in there right now. So the thing I'm going to use today is contact. And this contact has multiple files. They're PDFs, uh, but you can use it with any file, to be honest, so it's fine. What we'll do is we'll, we'll first get a, ourselves a table. And what this table is going to do is going to read from files. And it's going to be where the first published location ID equals my contact. Click next. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring file title. And then we are going to bring the, let's say, what do we want to bring here? I think title is good. We'll get the content version ID. And then I want to add an action. And this is going to be an icon. And when they click on this icon, I'm going to show you what it's going to do. So let's get ourselves a nice little icon available here. We'll use this one. And apply. And now this is set. So this is going to be our table and what I'm going to do is just quickly modify here the description this is for table bringing back files and then this one is going to be on load so if I click apply close save it's going to quickly show you it's going to hopefully bring back three records from Joe blogs like that all right, now what I wanted to do is when I click on these buttons here, I wanted to see the file on the right hand side. So to do that, I'm going to have to get myself a file viewer, which is underneath the widgets. And here it is, our mighty file viewer. And you can choose what type, what text appears in, in the element. So you can choose a type here. I'm going to choose um, PDF for now. And then you can change the, the different messages. You can write conditions, animation, metadata, all the standard stuff available. And then what I want to do is pass the ID of um, the content version into a parameter. So we'll set up a parameter and it's gonna be a static one. I'm gonna call it file ID and we'll click apply. And then if I go back to this table in the mapping, I'm going to say on click action, go ahead and affect an element, which is the file ID and pass set value from and table field value, which is my content version ID. Apply, apply, done, apply again. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up another get. And this get is simply just going to um, bring the file. So create new and I'm going to say files and I'm going to say condition content version ID equals my parameter. And then in the mapping, I just find my file viewer and then I'll say a version data and then type. You can also bring back type if you want. It's up to you. So here we go. Click apply, close, and then remember, because that one's going to be an auto trigger, because we're going to pass that value from the table into the file viewer. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly enable debug mode so I can show you. Click save. All right, let's have a look. All right, so here's my preview mode, debug mode, sorry. The, the file ID is empty. If I click on it, first of all, it's going to go ahead and load. There it is. There's my file. But in the debug mode, you can see that there is my file ID or the content version ID. So it's very cool. Now, if I click on this one, it's going to go ahead and load that specific file like this. And now you can see it. But what about this? Just like that, it's showing again. And this is how you do it. It's an awesome file viewer. You can view many different um, type. All are available in this list here and you are good to go. And this is how you do it. 